Just going to do a quick uh, two-minute summary of chapter one of the Chrysalids. The story opens with David, a 10-year-old narrator, narrator, telling the reader about dreams he had when he was young, dreams of a city with carts running with no horses to pull them and shiny fish-shaped things in the sky. He's never seen any of these things before, but his sister Mary suggests that he might be dreaming of the old people whose civilization was destroyed hundreds of years ago by the tribulation. We understand them to be cars and airplanes, and we recognize that there must have been some devastating event in the future to have caused the setting for this story. She warns him not to talk to anyone about the dream. This is foreshadowing, as well as providing us information uh, about his society, in which people fear and hate that which is unusual or odd. We've now established the setting and the main character. Sometime in the future, after a catastrophic event, being told in the first-person narrative by a young boy named David. David feels like he is a normal child, which introduces us to the idea that his society is not tolerant of anything that is not normal. He meets Sophie, a girl he plays with at the edge of town, He is shocked to see someone he does not know, which suggests that she is kept hidden from the townspeople, uh, but he is not as shocked that she has extra toes on her feet. He is young and innocent and, so far, considered normal. Sophie is his friend, and that is all he needs to know. This idea of everybody being normal, uh, we begin to figure out that there is a clear definition of what normal is, and it is not a good thing to be anything other than normal. David sees Sophie as a friend, does not connect her difference to the rules he's learned in church. He is memorizing the rules as a young person would do, uh, rather than internalizing them as a young adult or a young teen would. The normal rule, we learn, is that man is built in the image of God, should have one head, one body, two legs, two arms, ten fingers, ten toes. We also learn that the rules hang in most houses, but David does not see them on the walls of Sophie's home. Dun, 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 dun.